Hello friends, in this video I'm going to create a separate admin layout. So uh, when we navigate to the admin, I'm not going to add the app layout, but I'm going to create a new one. And also I want to show you, here is the GitHub repository for this project. So github.com slash laraveller slash laravel dash permission. Okay. So uh, let's open the terminal. And I'm going to cd in the code and cd in the admin. Open this with with a VS, VS code and Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to open the web roads. And here we have the road.cat for dashboard. I'm going to do the same thing, but uh, just change the name here. So copy that and paste it down there and say admin. And also here I'm going to say admin.index. We don't have that, but I'm going to create. The name is going to be admin.index as well. And the middleware now is going to be authentication and also the role admin. So this is coming from a kernel PHP. Here we add three middlewares, role, permission, and role or permission. And for that, we can uh, add here the role and the name of the role. Save this and go to the browser and say here admin and we redirect to the login page because we have this authenticated middleware. Let's uh, log in as admin and we redirect to the admin. So we need to create the admin index which was not found so let's go and create that in the views i'm going to create new folder name it admin and here a new file name it index.blade.php index.blade.php in here now i'm going to create a new layout to work in the admin I'm going to save this as admin, so go to the app layout and save this as and change the name to be admin. Also, we need to change in the app a view app layout, save this one as the admin layout and change the name of the class to be admin. And also the return view layouts admin. Save this, close, close this one. And uh, in the index, I'm going to do the same thing we have in the dashboard. So select all and copy and paste it here. Save. Come here now and refresh. And we have the same thing we have in the dashboard. Okay. If I want to change something now, because I am in the admin layout, and so for example, I don't want the header here, remove that, save, and also we need to remove from here the slots because we don't have now the slot header. Save and refresh, uh, go to the admin, and uh, admin layout and the index yeah we are okay what uh, oh here we need to say now admin not the uh, app layout so admin save and refresh and we don't have the header here okay uh, but if we got here and I want to go to the admin 
because I am admin, I want to have a link when we click and go to the admin. And that link is going to be visible only for the admin users. So let's go to the navigation. Inside the layouts, we have this navigation here. Okay. And here we have the navigation links. This is the dashboard. So this one, uh, copy that and say here, role. This is the blade directive for, from the package. So role admin, give it the name of the role. And anything inside this is going to be, and role here is going to be visible only if the role, if the user has the role admin. Now change the road. Road is going to be admin dot index, and the name is going to be admin. Okay, so the road is going to be uh, admin index because we added the name here. And with that, if I refresh, we can we have the name here and click. Okay, click here, go to the dashboard. Now if I log out and go to the admin we need to redirect to the login and if i logged in as test user we have the 403 in the admin area if i go to the dashboard also we don't see the link here uh, that's it for this video friends hope you enjoy if you like a uh, like the video subscribe to my channel and thank you and see you in the next one brand all the best